Hey everyone, it's Holly from Cape Cod Creatures, and I am here today with a very special uh, walkthrough of a deck I just received a couple of days ago, um, and I absolutely love it. This has been, it's its uh, its the first time I have ever been uh, even remotely tempted to get a majors only deck, um, so that should tell you exactly how special it is, and it is the Hokusai Arcana by Il Menegello. Um Master Menegetsi is uh, an artist uh, out of um, Italy, uh, Milan to be specific, and he still hand designs and draws these amazing tarot decks. Um, most of the time they're going to be arcana only, but I mean, it's just his work is fantastic and I've been a longtime fan. and. Um, but I've never really been like, oh, I need to own that. And then he released this deck and I was just like, ooh, gimme. Um, <laughs> so it was just like, oh my God, I need it to live. Um, but yeah, it is, it is absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, it doesn't, it no longer comes in these special handmade boxes. He used to hand make tarot boxes. Um, but I, uh, emailed the workshop and, um, thankfully his daughter has been very helpful. And in the next week or two, I will have one coming in a special handmade box. I'm so excited because I love this deck so much that I know this is terrible. I should not use it, but I'm going to use it. Um, I'm going to use it in, in, in readings and stuff um, as focus cards and what have you or for meditation. But um, the one that is coming in his handmade box will wind up being something that I collect um, and just treasure forever because I mean, the, the, unfortunately the maestro, you know, like all things, he's, he's 80 years old. He's not making boxes anymore. Um, and it just eventually one day he's not going to be making tarot decks. And that is just going to be very upsetting because um, it's just his work is just an absolute treasure. Uh, so we should enjoy it while we have it. And everybody should own at least one of his decks. But anywho, um, this is the deck that spoke to me. It's based on the work of uh, Katsushika Hokusai, um, who is an artist out of Japan. He's most known for um, the print The Great Wave off of Kanagawa. Um, it's Everybody's seen it. It's the, the famous Japanese finger wave. And then he also did 36 views of Mount Fuji. Um, so a lot of these cards are going to be reminiscent of Hokusai's artwork. These are all original drawings by um, Maestro Minigetsi. Uh, but they, like I said, he is an absolute fan of the uh, of, of Hokusai. So um, he used that work to make a tarot deck. Um, you get a little write-up. So when you open the box, this is the box is inside is his um his logo the outside includes a um one of the tarot cards on the box it's going to be the fool and then you also it's also stamped with his wax seal um so totally gorgeous as far as that's concerned um and then you get a little like i said you get the little write-up about um the deck and the maestro and then there is um of course the little the little thing uh, the little thing that just says, um, you know, it's a handmade item. So imperfections or variations are not defects. They're just, they're unique to your deck, which is awesome. And then, uh, you get the title card. So the back of all the cards is just a plain yellow with his stamp. Um, and then you have, um, you know, the, 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 the title card that tells you what it is, the 22 uh, Major Arcana by, um, you know, for the Hokusai Tarot. And I received number 105 out of 250. His decks are limited run. So, um, you know, if you see one that you like, you should probably snag it up. And then the bottom of the the bottom of the deck box, even though they're not handmade, they're still really nice. It's a very sturdy chipboard. And then the bottom is like this really soft plush velvet, so that way the cards are kept nice. And like I said, the back of each card is the yellow. Um, it's like a watercolory sponge painted on, like amazingness. And then the cards feel like watercolor paper. They still feel like very special, very handmade. It's a very nice stock. Um, so without further ado, we are going to go through um, all 22 of them. So we start off with, um, you know, the fool, which is the, the wave, obviously. Um, and then we have uh, the magician. Uh, the the 
high the high priestess, also known as the 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 papis, uh, because well he's um, obviously being Italian. These cards are all going to be in Italian, and uh, most Italian tarot decks um, call the high priestess the popis or the papis or la papessa. Um, you have the empress, which is gorgeous as that crane. The Emperor, which is based on one of the views of Mount Fuji. So as, um, as a mountain, that is just fantastic. You have the um, Hierophant, also known as the Pope. Lovers, so a gorgeous painting of koi fish. You have the Chariot which is one of the fishing boats. Um, oh, this is uh, Justice, I believe. The Hermit, which is the paper lantern. Can we even right now? How gorgeous are these? The Wheel of Fortune, a little water wheel. Mm, so cute. I love, th I love this deck. Strength, which is a lion. So you've you've got you do have some traditional imagery, which is really nice. Um, this is the hanged man, which is I believe that it's not a robin, but it's it's a bird like sitting upside down on the branch. I love this one for the hanged man. Death. You've got a dead and wilted cherry tree, and you've got um, what looks like the top of a volcano. So this volcano is clearly erupted, and it's causing some changes. So that's kind of neat. Temperance is another one of my favorite cards, is a waterfall. How gorgeous is this card? I absolutely love it. Um, oh, it's so good. And these feel like they just, like he just painted these on, and then, um, you know, just just sent them to you. And then you have Il Diablo, which is the devil. Um, here they use a um, one of one of the demons from Japanese um, Shintoism, which is really nice. Um, this is the tower. Again, based on another view of um, Mount Fuji, the star. You got the Japanese fly fisherman. Like, how cute is this? This is just like the most beautiful deck ever. I don't think cute is really the right word for it, but apparently it's my go-to word. The moon. And this is very imposing. I really actually really enjoy this one too for um for such a simple moon card. It it, it does a really good job capturing everything that there is to capture about the moon. Um the sun. This is another one of my favorites. Just the, the use of color and line. Like it's just it's so beautiful. And then you have um oh, what is this? Judgment, also known as the Angel. This is another beautiful card. And then you have the world, which is a phoenix. And that is, I mean, this is a really short video. I mean, other than um, saying that I absolutely love this deck, I'm not going to do, well, maybe I'll do a pull from it. Um, so the way I would shuffle this is very, do very gently, hand over hand. And I would not read reversals with it at all. Um, I don't think you really need to. And we'll do one pull and see what we get. I mean, I think this is going to be a deck I use less for pulls and more for like focusing and more for focus and more for meditation. Um, the only thing that I wish was different about it, and I get that it, because it's handmade, like I wish the corners were rounded. Like I'm really, I'm a little worried about crushing the corners. I don't want... Like, I just, like, I just, like, don't eat. Just look with your eyes, not with your hands. Like, I don't want anything to ever happen to this deck. So, I'll do one more shuffle. And then I'll do a pull. And I'm just going to pull right out of the middle of the deck. 
And for today's message, we received the chariot. Awesome. Um, so coming from a fishing community, I really love that. And I'm a fisherman's daughter. I love that the chariot is a fishing boat. Um, in order to make your living, you have to like, you have to go out there, you have to get out on the sea, you take your life into your hands every day. And, um, you know, you do the best you can. And sometimes you do really well. And sometimes you don't. But e either way, you like you gotta, you kind of have to have the, um, the, for lack of a better term, the testicular fortitude to really go out there and go after what, you know, is going to, keep you surviving. So, I mean, I would say that this is like, this is just very much, it captures that energy. Like you're, if you don't catch anything, your family's not going to eat. Like you, 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 you're, you've got absolutely nothing to show for it and you might die in the process. I mean, it's a very dangerous career. Um, and you know, the few close calls and even, even like just the day boats, it can be very dangerous. So, um, but it's also a lot of fun as well. I mean, people who, ha who, who fish for a living, they do it because they love being out on the sea. They love the camaraderie. They love everything about the career. They love the hard work. They just, you know, just something about going out there and, and putting it all on the line and coming home and like feeding your family with stuff that you caught from the ocean is just amazing. So this would be like the, in order for you to, to live and to have what you need to survive, like you need to go out there and you need to get it because nobody else is going to get it for you. But you also need to know that maybe you're not going to accomplish what you need to today. So also kind of have a plan B. Um, so this is an amazing card. I love the message that comes, comes from it. I really connect and I just, I really absolutely cannot like wait to start using this deck. So, um, special thanks goes out to the maestro for just even like just keep on creating do it till your hands fall off um for all the people that love your work for all the fans of um the gift that you are giving us like just thank you so so much um and a, a thank you to his daughter christina for assisting me in ordering one of his um special handmade boxes this really is like the crown jewel of my collection I like, and I just, the thought of this ever like falling apart just makes me so sad. Like it's just, it's so special. And I just thank you so much for just even creating this for us. Um, and thank you guys for listening. And again, this is for the Hokusai Tarot by uh, Il Menegello, um, Oz, uh, Maestro Osvaldo Menegetsi. And again, it, like if you like just check out his website. I'm going to put a link to it below. And if there's a deck that you see that he makes that you like, you just really just support this man. Like he's, he's a genius. So thank you guys so, so much. And I will, um, talk to you later and happy reading.